Hi, my name is Vaman Deshmukh and in this session we are going to discuss inline cursor. Inline cursor is uh, a type of cursor in PL SQL which is a part of Oracle and uh, uh, let us see here an example of inline cursor and we shall also see how inline cursor differs from a regular cursor. Basically in Oracle uh, when you write uh, you know programs or sub programs in PL SQL Cursor is uh, you know uh, in Oracle cursor is a temporary memory area and cursor is basically used uh, you know to store uh, values which have been selected by the select statement. Cursors basically they are implicit cursors, explicit cursors. Explicit cursor is basically used uh, for those select statements which fetch more than one records and uh, that is the primary use of cursor. Now let me show you one simple example here for the cursor. Here I have used for loop uh, for the cursor and as you could see on the screen in the declare block I declared the cursor C1. So the query is cursor C1 is select star from employees and in the begin block I have declared one for loop for E in C1 loop. So here I call the cursor. And using the DOP statement that is JBMS output dot put line statement, I print the values of all the records fetched by the cursor. So basically cursor works like this. Let us try this example on SQL star plus. So as you can see on the screen, here is the, uh, the same example on SQL star plus screen. So I run this program and you could see the cursor fetches all the records from the employees table. So basically this is how an cursor works. Now going to the inline cursor, inline cursor you know it is declared within the for loop itself and it does not need to be declared separately in the declare block of a program or sub program. So cursor declared within the for loop is called as inline cursor. The syntax is pretty simple for that. You could see uh, all you need to do is you need to declare a for loop in the begin block. So syntax you could see for variable in the select query loop. This is followed by your executable statements followed by end loop and of course if you want you can also handle exceptions followed by end block. So basically cursor declared within the for loop is called as an inline cursor and here is the syntax for that. Now the advantage of this is that you do not have to declare a cursor separately. It is a part of the for loop itself. See the standard syntax of for loop that is for variable in range loop. So in place of range you put a select statement which is an inline cursor. So see this example here in the previous example I had separately uh, declared a cursor C1. Now in this example within the for loop only uh, I have declared the cursor. Let us run this example on Oracle. So as you can see on the screen here I have then uh, here I have an example for inline cursor. I run this program and as you could see it fetches the records from the employees table. So basically this is how inline cursor works. The main difference between a cursor and inline cursor is cursor is declared separately as, as a type in the declare block whereas inline cursor is only a part of the for loop. And that is a little about inline cursor. Thanks for watching this video. To watch more such videos please visit Nourish Technologies on youtube.com.